the hospital community in the state is, is very interested in trying to get out of a reactive mode and a more proactive mode, um, particularly on the two big revolutions that are taking place in healthcare in America. I, I believe they are revolutions, and I'll tell you why. Those are quality and safety care on the one hand, and covering the uninsured or coverage for all Americans, however you want to say that. On the other hand, um, I say those are revolutions. When I think about a revolution, I think about a significant turn in policy or in practice in a short period of time. The, as a um, health care attorney, when I practice law here in Columbia with Nexon Pruitt, I, I would see the, the standard of care in health in, in medicine just gradually evolve, very slowly. It takes a long time for industry-wide changes to, to occur in how you care for patients. In the last four or five years, the Institute for Healthcare Improvement out of, out of Cambridge, um, Don Berwick and that group have really begun pushing to the hospital industry that we should make, we should take five or six areas where we, we have great bodies of evidence that suggest there are best practices for taking care of heart attack or ventilator patients or pneumonia patients or heart failure. And let's apply that best practice, the evidence-based medicine, and let's all do it. And when you see, um, there are some 5,000 hospitals in this country, when you see 3,500 to 4,000 of them adopt a new way of treating heart attack or ventilator, within 18 months. I, I think it's remarkable. You're seeing the standard of care change almost overnight. If the standard of care is what a reasonable person or a reasonable organization does, then what 35 to 4,000 of the hospitals do in this country becomes the standard. So it's, it's really remarkable how fast it's changing compared to the way it used to evolve so slowly. That's, I think that's the most exciting, it's the most um, fundamental issue that hospitals are working on because it is the core of what we do. There are a lot of business and political policy kind of issues around health care, but taking care of patients has to be our first and foremost deliverable. That's what the public wants. That's what we all care about. So that's where uh, so much of the energy is right now in our state. I'm really excited that the hospitals are all on board. I'll tell you that it's it's pretty remarkable. You all see, um, as an editorial board, the competition in, in healthcare among hospitals over open heart surgery or who gets to build a hospital where. You'd be really surprised if you sat in a meeting where all those same hospitals were exchanging ideas and there's no competition whatsoever. But they will come into a, a common meeting and say, here's what's going on, here's what we've found, this is how, what we're doing better to reduce the incidence of infections with ventilator patients. And all the other people in the room will say, well, you know, how did, how'd you do it? How'd you get your doctors involved? That level of exchange is it's just not anything I've ever seen before among competitors, and it's very encouraging. I think they, they, have, their, um, they, they have the same sense that the public has that when we talk about quality of care, everybody ought to share whatever we know that helps us take care of patients. So that's, that's very positive. We have to build a culture of quality and safety throughout all these organizations. It can't be just a bunch of initiatives. If you just say that, okay, in the ICU, we're going to treat ventilator patients a certain way, that doesn't pervade every other part of that organization. And so they've called for um, they've called for a collective focus on culture and a culture of safety and quality. And so the hospitals that formed a council through the through our association set up this group, this South Carolina Partnership to Advance Patient Safety and Quality Healthcare, and they called it Every Patient Counts. That was it's really come out of their, their work together, the, the hospitals, and they are, what they've done here is, is reported what they're learning and what they've done to change patient care. This is a gradual process, and um, a couple of the commentators here point out that it's never going to end. 